हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द रेस्पिरेटरी वॉल्यूम एंड द कैपेसिटी सो वॉट इज़ द रेस्पिरेटरी वॉल्यूम मीन्स वेन यू आर इंस्पायरेशन मीन्स इंस्पायर ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम द एटमोसफियर सो योर लंग्स बिकम इंक्रीजेज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द लंग्स बिकम इंक्रीजेज ओके एंड वेन यू आर डूइंग एक्सपायरेशन सो द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द लंग्स बिकम डिक्रीजेज तो दीज आर कॉल द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द lungs and what is the capacity so capacity is just how much oxygen and carbon dioxide you just inhale or uh, oxygen you can inhale and carbon dioxide you can ex exhale okay this capacity is called lungs capacity and volume the just uh, uh, size of the lungs is called lungs volume okay so what is the lungs volume it refer to the volume of the gases in the lungs at the particular time during the respiratory cycle means a particular time what is the volume of the lungs volume of the lungs okay so there are four types of uh, lungs volume first is the tidal volume second uh, इंस्पायरेटरी रिवर रिवर्स वॉल्यूम्स थर्ड इज़ अ एक्सपायरेटरी रिवर्स वॉल्यूम फोर्थ इज़ अ रेस्टिटल वॉल्यूम दीज आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम इन द लंग्स वॉल्यूम फर्स्ट इज़ अ टाइडल वॉल्यूम वट इज़ अ टाइडल वॉल्यूम द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द ईयर नॉर्मली इंस्पायर एंड एक्सपायर्ड मीन्स इन द नॉर्मल वेन यू आर स्टेन इन द नॉर्मल पोजिशन सो हाउ मच ऑक्सीजन यू जस्ट इनहेल एंड हाउ मच कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड यू जस्ट एंड जस्ट एक्जेल और यू कैन से दैट हाउ मच एयर यू जस्ट इनहेल इन योर लंग्स एंड हाउ मच एयर यू जस्ट एक्जेल फ्राम योर लंग्स सो दिस इज is uh, randomly just 500 ml to the half liter in a normal the tidal volume second is the inspiratory reserve volume means when you are uh, just uh, inhale additional volume of the air that can inspire it means when you are just inhaling too much oxygen in your lungs maximum oxygen to the lungs that is called inspiratory reserve volume it is just about 2500 to the 300 ml third one is the expiratory reserve volume expiratory reserve volume means just you release additional volume of that can uh, expire it means the uh, you just release the additional volume of the air from the lungs it is about just 1010 to the 1100 ml last one is a residual volume means in your lungs when you inspire inspire and expire just uh, so this is just a tidal volume means you just in, inspire 500 ml and just expire 500 ml but when you inspire additional forcefully inspire oxygen to the lungs so this is called inspiratory reserve volume okay when you inspired air forcefully that is inspiratory reserve volume when you expired air forcefully that is called expiratory reserve volume but when you expired forcefully maximum air, air from the lungs after that your lungs become not empty some volume of air that can not remove from your lungs that uh, volume of the lungs is called residual volume this is just about 1100 to the 1200 so this is four uh, volume in the lungs tidal volume inspiratory reserve uh, volume third is a expiratory reserve volume then residual volume now next is a lungs capacity what is the capacity of the lungs so when two or more then when two or more than two lungs volume are combined so they form lungs capacity to add two or more volumes so this is called lungs capacity these are five functional residual capacity inspiratory capacity expiratory capacity vital capacity and total lung capacity okay so this is the structure you can understand through this this is uh, i told the volume this is the four volume tidal volume this is just you inspire and expire normal oxygen and carbon dioxide this is tidal volume okay we uh, this is inspiratory reserve volume means you inspire from the here to here when you inspire more oxygen here to here okay this is called inspiratory this is expiratory reserve volume when you release extra forcefully gas uh, forcefully uh, expire gases from the lungs that is expiratory reserve volume and some volume are always present in your lungs that is called residual volume okay this is the volume and uh, next one is a capacity so what is the capacity so first one is the uh, functional residual capacity frc so what is frc frc is equal to erv plus rv erv expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume means when you expire 
forcefully expi uh, expired maximum air from the lungs but some air present in your lungs that is rv so when you combine these both so you just find functional residual capacity this is just about 2400 ml third second one is the inspiratory capacity what is inspiratory capacity this is just addition of the irv and tv irv means inspiratory uh, ins inspiratory uh, inspiratory reserve volume plus tv means tidal volume T tidal volume what is tidal volume just a normal breathing so this is a uh, uh, inspiratory capacity just 3500 ml third one is expiratory capacity this is addition of expiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume that is 1500 ml vital capacity that is addition of the inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume this is just 4800 ml and total lungs per capacity is just addition of the four volume means irv plus tv plus erv plus rv means inspiratory reserve volume tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume plus reserve uh, residual volume so total lungs capacity is just about 600 ml okay so in this uh, graph you can uh, i uh, told about the volume now i will explain about the capacity so listen first is this functional residual capacity functional residual capacity means erv plus rv means ex uh, expiratory reserve volume plus uh, residual volume is become functional residual capacity ic Uh, IC means uh, inspiratory capacity that is IRV means inspiratory reserve volume plus TV means tidal volume VC vital capacity that is tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume plus expiratory reserve volume and last one is a total lungs capacity that is vital capacity vital capacity what is vital capacity TV plus IRV plus ERV plus RV it is called total lungs capacity okay and EC ic is equal to irv plus tv so this is all about the graph of the lungs capacity so there's a four volume present in your lungs what are they tidal volume inspiratory reserve volume expiratory reserve volume and residual volume okay they are four volume and capacity there are four cap four ni five capacity are present sorry there are five okay so uh, functional residual capacity inspiratory capacity expiratory capacity vital capacity and total lungs capacity okay and this is the graph about it i think i'm very clear about this topic lungs volume and lungs capacity if you are have, have any doubts so you just write in your comment box i will answer it thank you so much for watching